guys, I am Jordan and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a little bit of a halfway through July wrap up. I am going out of town on Tuesday and I won't be returning for two weeks and we're going to be doing a lot of road tripping and just hanging out in the car for hours and hours and hours where I'll, I'll get a lot of reading done. So I think I'm going to get so much reading done that it'll be ridiculous for me to do a whole wrap up because it'll be like hopefully upwards of 25 books. That's a little ambitious, but hopefully it'll get that far. So I'm just going to go ahead and talk about all the books that I've read so far in July, and so I don't have to include these in my end all be all wrap up. So I think we're about halfway through the month here, so I think this is a good time to do it. I'm going to start off with what I'm currently reading, which is Ask the Passengers by A.S. King. I am on page 129 right now. That's about halfway through. I hope to finish this tonight, and I hope to finish a couple of other books before we leave on Tuesday. It's Saturday right now, so hopefully I'll get that stuff done and pick up a couple of others that weren't on my TBR that I mentioned, that I filmed earlier this month. I have read four books so far this month. Like I mentioned on like Instagram and stuff, I did a really big summer program that took up 10 days of my time and I didn't do, I didn't finish any books then. I did read one of these books during that time, but I didn't, I didn't end up finishing it until the plane ride home. It's 10 days of no reading basically. Well, so the first book I read this month, I actually read before the summer camp thing and finished this on the plane ride there, and that was Magician Apprentice by Raymond E. Feist. This is an adult fantasy series. It's, I have no idea how long this series is. I think it's pretty long. I know the next book is Master, and this book was so good. I think I gave it four stars or five stars. It was super enjoyable. My dad bought this for me and recommended it to me. And it's super long. It took me four or five days to read it, but it was worth it in the end. It was super good. Then I read Zombies vs. Unicorns by various authors. Team Zombie was headed by Justine Larvacetier and then Team Unicorn by Holly Black. And featuring Team Unicorn had Kathleen Dewey. Meg Cabot, Garth Nix, Margot Lanigan, Naomi Novik, and Diana Peterfront. And then Team Zombie had Libba Bray, Alaya Don Johnson, Cassandra Clare, Maureen Johnson, Scott Westerfeld, and Carrie Ryan. And I'm definitely on Team Zombie, which I have learned after reading this book, which is awesome because actually it was Justine who signed this book for me, so yes. And I just really enjoyed this. I gave it a three or four out of five stars because I didn't love all the books, all the short stories in it, so I couldn't give it the five stars that some of the stories deserve. But I might do a separate, really short video breaking down the different stories and what star rating I would give to each separate story, but that takes a lot of time, so I might just put a post on my Tumblr. I don't know yet. Let me know down below what you guys would be interested in seeing for this book because it was a lot of fun to read. Then, during my time at summer camp, I actually was able to purchase a couple of books and one of them was The Martian by Andy Weir and I read this on the plane ride back and the next day I finished it in like a day. It was so amazing. Five star book for me. This is adult sci-fi. If you guys don't know there's a movie coming out starring Matt Damon and like a million other big A-list people and oh my god I'm so pumped for the movie. I'm so excited which is really bad because it's coming out months and months and months but it's gonna be awesome I loved this book so much oh the humor in this book is so great it's definitely not for younger readers there's a lot of f-bomb dropping and just cussing in general and oh my god but it was so much fun to read it was so amazing definitely one of my favorite sci-fi books of all time hands down so great everybody go read it course if you're of age. And then the final book I read, which I actually just finished yesterday, was Conversion by Katherine Howe. I gave this a three or four out of five stars. It was enjoyable. It dragged on for a while and the way it's written is, I don't know if you guys don't know this, it's basically the Salem Witch Trials but modernized at a St. Jones school for girls and think weird things start happening and they're all like oh my gosh and but it's interspersed with the story of the original Salem Witch Trials and I found myself just really not enjoying the original stories and the girl Anne talking about like the actual events of it it just wasn't enjoyable it wasn't a lot of fun I really enjoyed the modern day 
um, story though, so that was a lot of fun. But I did have to take it down a star rating or two because I just did not enjoy the back in time kind of stuff. It just, the historical context just Honestly, I didn't think it was necessary. So these are the four books that I've read so far in June. I hope to read, like I said, so many more, which is why I'm doing this now. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, keep reading.